What's up guys and welcome to the day number 7 of 15 days of OpenSea for beginners in Python. I am Chandu and I am super excited to be an instructor of this course. So in this one we talk about how can you start back in OpenSea. So let's start it and jump into the code. So first I am going to actually create so one I Python file here. Let's say day number 7.py. Okay, so our file is created here. So now what you have to do you need to actually import the CB2. Okay. So I'm going to actually make the uh, webcam first because you're going to do the uh, coding in real time. So that's why I'm going to actually create the webcam. I'm also be sick uh, at this moment. If you have any voice problem, if you get any voice problem, that's why I'm actually coming from the voice. So please comment below that you are getting voice uh, problem or not because I'm so sick right now. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to do, uh, actually do the uh, speed coding here to actually create the camera. So all right, so now you can see you actually create the camera uh, for coding for the camera. If you missed my day number five video, so please check it out in this video. We actually talk about how can you use, uh, how can you actually uh, create one camera? How can you actually also save your video in your files? Okay, so I'm not going to actually, actually discuss about these things in very well here. Okay, so I'm going to save the file and run the code and see that our actually webcam is actually opened or not. Okay, and you can see actually our webcam is opened here. So now I'm going to close that for pressing Q from my keyboard. Okay, so now we're going to actually talk about the track work. So for creating the track work, we're actually using the a method called create track work. So what is the actual track work? It actually takes some value range, that's mean or let's say 0 to 10, and it will actually count the value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 10. Okay, so you're going to actually use this track work to actually get the value from the track work. Okay, so if you do the coding, then you can actually understand the thing very well. So let's say cb2 dot create track bug. Okay, sorry. So create track bug. Okay, so this is the track bug. So first it will take one track bug name. So you can put here any kind of names for the testing purpose. I actually put here, let's say test here. And second one is the window name. And that's mean which window you actually appear this track bug. So our window name is nothing but our frame. We're going to actually make this uh, frame as a track bug. Okay. So for that, you're going to actually use this track bug. That's mean in the above of the frame. Okay. Then we need to initialize here the value. That's mean the starting value here. Let's say we are going to extract the value from zero and the count. That means how many count you're going to actually do that. Let's say 10 here. And another one is called the unchanged method. So this is nothing but called the callback functions. Okay. It also specify here, let's say def on change. Sorry, that should be the on change. Okay, this one. And it will take one argument. You can put here any kind of, let's put here the x. And I'm going to try to print, uh, let's say a bellow count. Okay, let's say bellow count. So how you actually some, uh, do some uh, corrections or do some, uh, what do you call, changing the bellow that it will actually call this method. That's why it's called the callback method. Or you can say callback function. And it also specify here one window name here. And window name must be the same name, okay? Let's say cb2 dot name window, okay? And window name, let's put here the same window name from our actual video cam frame here. And I'm going to pass it on here, okay? So that's mean our fragment is test, okay? This test is a trackback name. And frame is our video frame name and zero is starting value and 10 is the last value for the counting one. That's when it will count in a zero, one, two, three, four, and up to 10. And on change is a callback functions. And you actually put here the callback function here. It will actually change the value when the function is, that's when the track, uh, trackback value is changed. Okay. So I'm going to save the file and run the code here. And see that that actually worked fine or not. Okay. And you can see a test is a trackback name and we can change the value here. Okay, and you can see a below count. Okay, two. Then we can change let's say four, let's say six, let's say eight, and let's say ten. Okay, you can change the value here. Okay, so you can see here we can change the value here. Let's say one, we can say here two, three, up to that. You can actually move this. Okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And you can see here this is the callback function. You can see your value is count. You can also check the value here. So if I trying to print, the value is actually given here. And if I trying to print, 
here the x1 and you can actually see here the value is printed on here so for that i'm actually use the terminal here and let's say python day number seven dot py here and you can actually uh, see the file very correctly okay and you can see nothing is happening here and how you actually change the value and you can see it too okay you can see two and the value is count again let's say one and you can see here one that's mean this is the call function how you actually change the value it actually call these functions and it will actually take this print this x value you can give as an argument okay you can change here so you can also use this value to actually do some actually do some operations here so you can do that and you can do some calling things here using this trackback and now the question is how can you get this trackback position on our main code see how can you do that so for creating actually getting the trackback positions we are going to actually use one method in here let's call the cb2 dot get let's call the trackback positions okay so let's say get trackback this one positions pause i need to put here the specify here your uh trackback name so our trackback name is nothing but our task this one and our window name is nothing but our frame we can copy this out from here i'm so lazy and i'm going to pass it on here okay so we get the trackback positions now we don't need to actually print it on here okay if i trying to print here the value that's mean this value let's assign it into a variable called value and you can also check it out from here so see save and run the code here and see the output okay just while and you can see here zero 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 actual print here how actual change here two 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 in finite time because we are creating the loop inside that then you can see here three 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 four 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 let's say ten 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 okay so now we can actually use this uh value to actually do some operations here so let's do that okay so you got that so let's say how i actually get the value as a uh, let's say zero so you said that our frame is real frame and how you actually get the value as a let's say one and you can say that we are converting this image into grayscale and how you get the value as three so you can say, say that we are going to actually convert this into one hsb color value okay that's the hsb color space so how can you do that so you need to change this value as a zero one two so let's put here the two okay and how and if the value is equal equal to zero then we can say that the initial one this means initial frame so let's see you can actually put here the pass it actually give this pass as argument a uh, pass that's mean our uh, existing frame is actually appeared here so if the value is equal equal to one so we are going to say that when the value is one we are going to convert this frame into grayscale so let's say frame equal to cb2 dot cbt color using this cbt color you can actually convert this frame into one color space to another color space so you know open cb did the images into bgr format so for that you need to use that first you need to put here specify here frame so this frame is coming from here so you can see over over here and you can see a first one is the source so our source is nothing but our frame itself and the color code here so cb2 dot color bgr why bgr because open cb did the image into bgr format that's been blue green and the red channels two let's say two what do you call that's a gray okay this one gray okay so how you i get the below as a one so you convert the frame into gray skin so let's check it out that actually work fine or not and uh, see that okay it opened my webcam here and how you change the value Okay, let's change here and you can see our, our frame is converted into grayscale <coughs> sorry for that and but how you actually put here the tree nothing has happened because it's not out of conditions so you can also set that okay so let's put here q and it will gone okay and you can let's put here elif value equal to equal to let's say two and you're going to say that our frame is converted into ssb color space okay so let's say this was color code should be color bgr to hsp you can also use that ssb color space and let's save it and run the code here and see the output that our uh, file is actually that's when our frame is converted into the uh, ssb color format or not zero and you can see a grayscale 
now boom and you can see our our image is converted into the ASB color space and my white t-shirt is to look like the types okay okay that's gone okay we can also count the value and you can also uh, set a put text on here so let's put here cb2 dot put text and it will take some parameter first one is the frame that's been our image name and the text and let's say our text is let's say we're going to count the value so for counting the value this value is nothing but the integer but text should be the string format so for that you can actually use the type testing and to make this one string and the third one is called the org okay that's in origin so where you actually uh, show the text so let's say 15 into x axis and y axis there's a hundred and the what do you call the front face so there are so many fonts in OpenCV here so let's say cb2.font okay you can put your font hash simplex and you also discuss about all the things in uh, details in day number four maybe and the font uh, face and that's been the font face term font scale you can put your let's say one here for that and the colors so let's put your red color it's a 50 50 to 55 and the thickness so let's put your thickness as that's a three okay i see that that actually work fine or not and see uh, just a just a few seconds okay and you can see zero and how it is that wow that's good it actually changed the value one right now you can see one and the two is also visible here uh, for the ESSB color specifically making this red color into the uh, yellow color that's a problem okay no problem so we can also make this front of a little bit bigger and you can also make this as let's say 20 and also let's make it as let's say 50 now it actually worked fine i think okay just a minute okay that's fine and you can see it actually visible here and let's say one and the two that's work fine okay so change that and you also do one thing that is uh, that actually using the uh, rectangle you're going to actually cover up the uh, video so now this is the bonus tip uh, for all, all of you you can take it as a bonus and now i'm going to show that how can you use this track bug to actually change your shape of the rectangle and how can you do that see so first we're going to actually create one another track bug here so let's say copy this out and paste it in here and make this track bug name let's say rect for the rectangle okay that's great now we need to actually get the position of the track bug and using this position we're actually going to uh change our shape of the rectangle and you can do that so i'm going to copy this out again <laughs> okay i'm going to paste it okay i'm so lazy man and let's make it as let's say rect let's say one here and we can make this uh track bug name as the same okay and the same frame here and we're going to use this day number four code for creating the rectangle so if you miss this out so please check it out link in the descriptions okay okay i'm going to go to paste copy it and paste it on here okay so this is the code for creating the rectangle here i'm going to pass here the frame original frame here and now we can change this okay let's here let's say rect one i think it will hope sense to you okay <clears throat> so this is the nothing but the bottom okay bottom right corner so we high nature change this rectangle uh, rectangle uh value so that should be the bigger so you can also change here let's say this is let's say 255 and it actually starting from let's say 50 okay you can change here and how you actually change the value it will automatically change on the rectangle why because this rectangle one variable value is changed based on our track work okay and see how can we uh, do that and how it actually look like here i need to run the code and now you can see here it is nothing but zero and rectangle is right now 50 and how you actually make this bigger and you can see here our rectangle shape is animated and also it actually change the shape of the rectangle and you can see here what you can also change the color let's say let's say change the color as a uh, let's say red color and you can actually uh, see the output very clearly okay just a while and you can see here one what do you call one 
red rectangle here. But when you change the value, when you actually decrease the value, and you can see our rectangle uh, value and rectangle shape is decreased. And when you actually increase the shape of the rectangle based on the value, it actually increase the shape that's increase the size of the rectangle and you can see here rectangle shape is actually uh that's cool okay you can do some any kind of operation using this tag back okay and when you actually change the text uh one value and you can see here our frame is converted into grayscale and when you change it as a uh, how do you call it ssb color space and you can see here ssb color space and you can see here so cool you can also actually create one circle on the on the middle of that of the frame you can also do that. Just go here and copy this code, okay? Uh, okay, I'm going to paste it on here. And let's say paste it on here. And let's make it as a frame. And this is, let's say, on the middle of the frame. And our frame is nothing but 64 cross 4 at 0. So let's put here 3 to 0. That's been the middle. And this one, so 4 at 0. That's been 2 for 0. Middle of the frame. And this is nothing but our radius, okay? So you can also change this radius using this rectangle one. So you can also create another trackback for that. So you can also copy this out and pass it on here and make it as let's say circle. Let's say circle, okay? And let's make it uh, zero to two five five. And you can also use this value from here. Just you need to actually get the trackback position from here. And I'm going to pass it here and let's make it as let's say circle for zero one. And you can actually pass the value from here to here past it okay and run the code and see the output that when you change the value of the circle and our circle value should be uh, decreases or increases and see that and you can see right now is zero and our radius is right now zero how you increase the size it's not uh, okay i think it's the problem okay that's the problem our acting will work but circle is not to work why let's see so it's one circle okay that's the problem that's it actually need to save the uh, and also actually change this uh, trackback name so that's the problem and the code here and see how it actually change the uh, circle trackback and our circle should be created and now you can see here no circle is created but one circle you can see here on these positions but how it actually increase the size and you can see here our circle is bigger 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 boom and you can see a cool emissions okay that's so great and you can see our shape is also increases our rectangle shape okay so cool that's the actual basic thing that i'm going to show that and you take it as a bonus and you can see here how the how the truck bike actually work and using this truck but you can actually do so many operations in open city and it is so important in open city okay so this is the video hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never miss any update